gun, 33 and a third, the final insult. Frank Drebin has retired from the force, and he is now a, a housewife, essentially, um, as Jane continues to work, and their relations aren't going all too well. And she wants a kid, and he's not entirely keen on the idea. When a prolific terrorist bomber is rumored to be planning something big, Nordberg and the captain, I don't remember his name, come to Frank's house and try to talk him into an undercover mission. Frank has to go into the prison where Rocco, played by Fred Ward, and you know, we already knew he was badass from other roles. This is the this is one of the only ones where I've seen him really have fun with that as well. And his mother, Kathleen Freeman, might also be implicated. And she's she's even tougher than he is. And yeah, that's you know, so again we have a different sort of you know a new focus, a new sort of overall villain, you know. Yeah, so this is, like the second one, a slightly inferior film to the original, but really not by very much. Again, the, you know, new additions do really great. I suppose if one had to really judge, Anna Nicole Smith is maybe a little bit flat. Sorry. In her performance, I mean. But, you know, I know she just doesn't quite seem to have the comic timing, though she certainly does, you know, give it her all when mugging and the like. She, she had some funny moments. And you know, we we get some a, a pretty different sort of situation. You know, the first two were basically the average, you know, we found a clue, now we have to, you know, uncover what exactly is going on here. That was that, you know, formula for the, you know, all three are parodies of this, you know, crime thriller kind of thing with the tough cop. And in this one, then you have the, you know, the, you have parodying of the type of that film where the guy's retired and he's, you know, pulled back into it to go undercover for one last big, you know, important mission. And, you know, you've got, you know, they have some scenes at the prison and, you know, jokes about that. And the whole, you know, he has to actually make them believe that he is you know, one of them, and yeah, so they have some fun with that, and it's, again, really great material. The basic style and feel of the jokes and gags are, you know, again, the same, and there are some running gags. I mean, Nordberg continues to be kind of dumb, and, you know, Drevin is, of course, still utterly incompetent. At this point, he's even incompetent at just stuff that, you know, now it's not only police work, he can't even do, you know, just basic things. One of the first scenes has him just messing up in every way possible in a shopping mall. And, you know, again, we genuinely care about what's going on. You know, there is a, a plot, and in amongst all the great gags, we do want, you know, for the heroes to win and the bad guys to lose. And again, they 
they mix up the gags some, so it's not just scene after scene of, you know, everything being weird, for example, or constantly jokes with the same character, same few characters, you know. And, yeah, you know, if, if you took away all the gags and jokes, it would it could basically pass for an entry into the genre, and I think that's a, an important thing to do when you're doing a parody movie, for it to really feel like it's basically what it's making fun of, you know, re respect what you are, you know, spoofing. I, you know, that tends to get the best comedic result, I'd say, than just, you know, flat out just making jokes that don't fit or, you know, just not having any kind of, you know, I mean, anyone can make fun of something without understanding it, but once you actually understand why something is the way it is and you're then making fun of it whilst, you know, tipping your hat to it, sort of, I'd say that works better. Yeah, I suppose that's pretty much it, you know, quite good final chapter and it was very nice to have a new sort of a, new, a different flavor to it slightly with the prison and the undercover stuff. I've reviewed other parts of this series, the links are in the description box. Please rate and comment and hey if you like this video that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.